You're so welcome. Delighted to be here always. Thank you very much. Let's start with what um, William Barr, the current attorney general, has said uh, in his letter on Friday. He said, I remain committed to as much transparency as possible, and I will keep you informed as to the status of my review. That was his letter to Congress. Is that enough? Not good enough. We want full disclosure. The American people deserve to know what our special counsel has discovered uh, in this investigation over 22 months. We don't want to hear anything about uh, Barr using his discretion uh, to decide what we should see, what we should know and not know. We want the full report. We deserve it, and we're going to keep the pressure on uh, to say to him, we want transparency. We want to exactly what's in that report. And we want all of the underlying documents to go along with it. And if uh, Mr. Barr, Attorney General Barr, does not release the full report to Congress, do you believe that the report and or Mr. Barr should be subpoenaed? Oh, I absolutely do believe that. Uh, we have to come to that decision. The five of us uh, who are chairing committees uh, that have oversight responsibility, and we're all involved cooperating with each other, really would like to have full disclosure. We want the real report. However, I certainly agree, and I think they will too, that if he does not release it, that it should be subpoenaed. And you have uh, Donald Trump supporters, including his former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley, out there tweeting and saying, essentially presuming that the president has been exonerated by the report and uh, in Nikki Haley's case uh, saying that it's been completed and everyone should just move on. It's, it's, it's a curious position to take since we don't know what's in the report. Um, but do you see colleagues on the other side of the aisle sort of declaring this whole thing at an end uh, and wanting no further inquiry? I know that the House has something like 80 subpoenas still out. Absolutely. Well, I want to tell you that this president has a way of trying to get into people's heads and indoctrinate them. He's been saying no collusion, no collusion, no collusion over and over again for a long time now. And he's going to try and conclude uh, that there, this report is proving that there's no collusion. And you have a lot of his sycophants who will, you know, take the nod from him and they'll say the same thing. Uh, but we cannot allow them to get away with this. He does this all the time. This this is not the end of anything. This is the, well, it's the end of the report and the investigation by Mueller. But those of us who chair these committees have a responsibility to continue with our oversight. There's so much uh, that needs to be, uh, you know, taken a look at at this point. And so it's it's not the end of everything. Yeah. And there are a lot of folks on the other side of the aisle, Republicans, who believe that Democrats in Congress, yourself included, just want this report as a pretext to impeach Donald Trump. You have said for quite some time you think he should be impeached. What would you say to those who say you guys want this report so that you can just use it as a pretext for impeachment? Well, uh, you know, I have said over and over again that this president has defined himself uh, and he has committed, uh, you know, not only obstruction of justice right before our very eyes, uh, but he has said and done things that could lead you to the conclusion that there has been uh, collusion, uh, uh, lead us to the point where we understand. That